In this episode we are going to take a look on how to update the game scene. So at the end of this video what we are going to create is a balancing ball. So like this. And we are also going to show the X and the Y position of the ball inside the window. Okay, so let's start. Okay, so I have already created this basic arcade template, which is just an empty window, and it contains this onDraw method, which is being called 60 times in a second. And there is another method, which is being called 60 times in a second, and this is called onUpdate. So let's define or let's overwrite this method. So it is called on underscore update and it takes the delta time and it returns boolean or none. Although it will never return boolean, so I'm just going to delete this part. And arcade will call this method 60 times in a second. So I'm just going to print out hello in this on update method so that you can see that it is being called. Uh, continuously and automatically so you don't have to call it manually. So let me run it. And as you can see here in the console it continuously prints hello. Okay, so here should go everything which is for example movement and in the on draw everything which you want to display in the window. You should never add movement logic to the on draw function. Okay, so the next thing what we are going to do is just draw a circle and for that I'm just going to create a few properties. The first property will be the circle x position and the circle's y position. So self.circlex equals 640 and self.circle y will be 360. So it will start in the middle of the screen. I'm also going to define two speed variables, so the speed x 500 and speed y will be also 500 and I'm also just going to define one more property and this will be the circle radius so cell that radius equals 40 and let's draw first the circle so here in the own draw method after the clearing I'm just going to draw it like this so arcade the draw circle field at the position of circle x and circle y and giving it the radius and also the arcade.color.ao and if I run it now we have this dark green circle let's also draw an outline for this circle so I'm just going to add one more draw call using arcade draw circle outline at the circle x and circle y position giving it also the circle radius the outline color will be arcade.color yellow and the border width will be set to 2. So now, if I run it, this circle has this yellow outline. Okay, and now let's move this circle in the onUpdate method. For that, I'm just going to add in every update call to the circle's x position, so plus equals the self.speed speed x which is 500 times the delta time so also going to add to the circle y so plus equals speed y times the delta time and let me try it and now as you can see the circle just moves diagonally up and out of the window so let make it bounce for this we are going to do some if conditions here so if the circle's x position is greater than the cell that width and the cell that width is the views width which is 1280 so this is 1280 and minus the cell that radius so the cell that radius is a circle's radius so 40 if the circle's x position is bigger than the window's width minus the radius we are just going to set the circle's x position to cell that width minus the cell that radius and also just reverse the x speed so cell that speed x times equals negative one so now let's add the next condition which will check on the left boundary so cell that circle x is less than the self that radius in this case we are going to set the circle's x position to self that radius and also multiply the x speed by one so we are going to reverse the x speed 
and let's add two more if conditions so this is checking for the right side of the window and this is checking for the left side of the window okay let's add two more checks for checking the top of the window and also checking the bottom of the window so for the top we can check it like this so if cell.circle y is greater than the cell dot height which is 720 minus the cell dot radius we will set the circle y equal to cell dot height minus the cell dot radius and also reverse the speed on the y-axis so cell dot speed y times equals negative one and let's add lastly to the to the bottom of the window so if cell dot circle y is less than the cell dot radius then set cell dot circle y equal to cell dot radius and also reverse the y speed here and the cell dot height is coming also from the arcade dot view and now let's run the program and we have already a bouncing ball Let's make a little bit more interesting by drawing a text in the upper left corner of the window with the balls position. So here after this comment, I just added this comment, so draw text is slow, so you should never use this in production. So use this function only for testing. So this function is text, and this is the text as a Python formatted string, so it will print or draw the x, then the cell.circle x, also the y with the cell that circle y and uh, with two float precision and in the position 10 on the x 700 on the y and its color will be arcade color white and the font size will be 20 so now if i run it here in the upper upper left corner it draws the x y position of the circle and it also gives us a warning i'm just going to show you this so performance warning draw text is extremely slow function for displaying text consider using text objects instead